Good morning fellow fashion and beauty lovers. Today we have a very exciting box to open. This is the Ritual of Advent, so it's from the brand Rituals who do amazing candles and hand creams and just lovely lifestyle-y things. And I really, really love this brand, so I'm very excited to open this with you today. If you can hear a little drip, 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 then I do apologise. I've just turned off the hot water and I must apologise for my nails as well. They look absolutely horrendous, but I do get paid next week, so I will be taking a little trip to the salon. Until then, we will have to cope. Let's get straight into the video. I know it's really early, obviously, for Christmas content, but these calendars do sell out really, really quickly. I popped up a poll on Instagram and said you want to see these videos sooner rather than later. Most people said soon, let's give them a chance to buy. So that is what we're doing. I also have a body shop, put one on the way, which I tried to film once already and filmed for like 30 minutes and then there was no sound. As you can see, it comes in a very Christmassy red and gold box. It has a little tag attached to it as well. So you can gift it to someone, write their name on there, which is always nice. You can't open it like this, I've just discovered. So we're gonna slip this ribbon off and we're gonna see what's inside. Can you imagine receiving this beautiful Christmassy gold advent calendar oh i'd be so excited i am really excited so we have 24 doors to open which is brilliant for the price it was around 50 pounds so i think 24 products is great and i believe some of them are full size as well rituals one product is often like 15 so i think you're probably getting a really good amount for your money but obviously we haven't seen what's inside yet so let's find door number one it's a candle okay the products are quite hard to get out <laughs> So this is Sweet Jasmine, it smells really really nice, it's a little teeny tiny kind of, oh it's not going to fail, let's put it near my face so it focuses. I think we just about got the candle in focus there, so it's the Sweet Jasmine one and it smells really really lovely. I haven't tried any of Ritual's candles yet so very very excited to pop that on. I like as well that it's in a nice neutral metallic gold colour. Then we have day number two. What I'm learning is these are really, really hard to get out when it's stood up, so <laughs> let's see if I can get it out this way. I'm resorting to tools to get things out of the calendar. So this is, oh, Ritual of Secura, which is a scent that I have tried before, I think in a body wash, and it's a really, really lovely scent, and it is, oh, Flourishing Hair and Body Mist. Oh, that's exciting. It's a lovely scent, really, really fresh really girly, really like that, and a handy little travel size as well. To be honest, with this sort of thing, I feel like you wouldn't use it so much that you need it to be a massive size anyway, so pleased with that. Door number three is all the way down here at the bottom. I don't understand why they don't just put them in, like, day order. It would be so much easier. I suppose it's, like, to help make it more exciting, but it's exciting enough already, to be honest. So we've got what looks maybe like it might be... Oh, no, it's... Oh, it's a bath oil, Too Faced bath oil I don't know what that means it's the ritual of mare which I've not tried yet um, but to be honest all ritual smells are lovely can't really make out the smell but what I can make out of it smells quite nice I don't really know how to describe it because it's not really strong enough for me to pick out what it smells like but it's quite a grown-up scent I would say oh actually it tells me so it's sweet orange and cedar wood and um, yeah so as I was saying bath oil always very luxurious so very exciting to receive this. The nice thing with the advent calendar is that Rituals are such a beautiful amazing company but they are quite pricey and so there's lots of things that I would really like to try from them but I just can't justify the price so this gives you an opportunity to try lots of things that you wouldn't normally bother spending the money on which sounds like okay if you wouldn't bother spending the money then why do you need it but it's nice to have these little luxuries. So we are looking for day number four, which is here somewhere. Ooh, quite a big bottle. So a good tip if you're getting this advent calendar, make sure you've got a tool near you to use. Serendipity. Oh, it's a shower gel, it's a foaming shower gel. I've tried their shower gel before. I think it was the Ritual of Sakura one. It's just really cool, like it foams up and it's like a mousse almost that you put on your skin and it's just really, again, everything that they do is very luxurious feeling. I can smell, I can smell a nice clean scent. I think blue is a really nice colour for products like this as well because it's very calming. I think it looks really nice in the bathroom. So day number five, found that much more easily than day number four. Oh, another candle. Imperial Rose. 
Mm. So, the first one is Sweet Jasmine. And then this one's Imperial Rose. I think I like this better and it smells a little bit stronger as well. So I'm very excited as well to see if the smell actually carries in the room when you light the candles, because so many candles I find that you only smell them if you like, which obviously is no good. Like you need to, <laughs> you need to be able to smell them when they're lit. So that was day number five. Where's day number six? I've got another long and thin one, so this is probably gonna be another travel size mist it is. I oh, know it's a body mist, it's a sparkling body mist, okay. It looks very teenagery. It is, it's called Sugar Love and um, it has flamingo flower and pink grapefruit. Can't really smell it, but to be fair, my nose has probably smelt so many smells already that <laughs> everything from now on is gonna be quite hard for me to pick out. It smells young, I would say. I prefer more kind of mature scents, but as something to just stick in your travel bag, nothing wrong with that um, and I know a lot of you out there do much prefer kind of floral younger scents um, so yes there's nothing so far that I'm thinking oh I don't want that so that's really really good considering 50 quid I've already got one two three four five six products that I'm quite impressed with this is probably the one that I'm kind of like mm, I don't know maybe my niece will get that but yeah please so far I feel like I should be playing Christmas music right now it feels very very seasonal in here, I need to get some fairy lights. What is that? That looks like a little hand cream, like something anti-aging. Oh, serum, okay. I think I did know that Rituals do face products, but I didn't, I wasn't really fully aware of it. <laughs> so this is an anti-aging super serum. Okay, so I don't actually have any serums. It doesn't say anything about being for dry skin. So we'll see, I might not be able to use it a lot, but something to use every now and then just before makeup might be nice um, and it is a glow you can probably hear the cars going by sorry for that yeah so it says it is a glow a radiance anti-aging serum saffron flower and holy lotus so that usually is quite good for dry skin if you have something that is meant to give you a natural glow so um interested to try that one out oh ritual of herb Ritual of Hammam. I've tried these before. I used to have a hand wash and a hand cream. I'll get it out! Yes, I used to have a hand wash and a hand cream in this scent and it is really, really nice. Um, so this is a nourishing shampoo. I've actually used the same shampoo for years now. I usually use the ginger one from the body shop and it's always been really good because I get quite a flaky scalp and that's always been really good at combating that. But over the last few months, it stopped working. I don't know if it's changed the formula or if my hair has just got used to it. So I am looking at replacing my shampoo. So this is a nice opportunity to try a new one out and see if it works for me. Um, nourishing shampoo, argan oil and shikake. I don't really know what that combats. I don't know if it's just literally just to wash your hair or <laughs> nourishing suggests maybe to help it grow. I don't know. I think we're on day number nine. It's quite hard to keep track, although I can just count them, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we're on day number nine, which is down here. Another nice big door. Oh, it's the matching conditioner. Okay. I don't really use conditioner anymore. Um, I just use a hair oil and a heat defense spray but I've actually run out of both of those at the moment so um should probably condition my hair until I replace those so yeah this would be nice to use and I know for a fact that I really like the smell as well I think I have used one of their conditioners before and it was nice I mean I've never really used a conditioner that I thought was amazing Ooh. oh it's a face cream okay to be honest the facial skincare is not really the reason I got this advent calendar because my the skin on my face is quite sensitive and very very dry so i have to be quite careful about what i put on there so i don't know that i will bother trying this and um, so this might be gifted to a friend but it is the ritual of samurai censure oh that's quite hard to read censure and ginseng i used to have an eye cream with gin ginseng or ginseng I used to have that in there and it's quite brightening not really one for me i know what moisturizers work for my skin so i don't i'm not really on the lookout for a new one but Nice to have in there if you are on the lookout for a new face cream. Day number 11 is a teeny tiny little door. Oh, something in a box. Could be a soap. It is a soap. It's a Ritual of Sakura soap bar. It's like the little cute ones. 
that you get in hotels. So yeah, that is a nice little thing to take when you go away for a little staycation or you could pop it in your bathroom for when guests come over. I think for me, I'll just take it away with me because they can use what I use. It's only my mum, she won't mind. Um, number 12, number 12, number 12. Quite a small drawer again. Oh, another candle. I think, I think maybe you get four candles. Four, four candles. <laughs> Andles for forks. So this one is Oris Mimosa. Actually, that might be the rediffuser scent that I've got downstairs, which, oh, that's nice. Quite a strong smelling candle, so. Hopefully when you light that, it will make the room really smell really nice. But if not, then I know for the future not to bother buying candles from Rituals, but also I really like the fact that they all match and so they can all be kept in one area. And even if you can't smell a candle, it's nice to have a candle lit and have that lovely homey glow around you. So I don't mind too much if the scent isn't there. I can always spray some room spray. Rituals is definitely a brand that I really like for their scents. You know when like you go in Lush and they're like, oh, this is the product I'd really recommend. Smell, smell. And I'm like, mm, yeah, nice. <laughs> I really don't like those really fruity or strong smelling smells, but Rituals, all of their scents, I do think are really nice. And I think it is because they are a little bit more mature. They're not like really fruity smells or young smells. I do, I do like a, a more I suppose like an evening smell, like when it comes to perfumes and things. So this is my kind of scent or scents. Um, so we are on door number 13, I think. Yeah, which is right next to door number 12. And it's a fairly long door. I like that this one's doors as well. The body shop one that I've still got to show you is um, like little boxes all slotted in. And it just means that they fall all over the place all the time. So the door's much better. Oh, I thought it was an eye makeup remover, which would have been quite handy, but it is a shower gel. Again, really nice size for travel. This is the Ritual of Karma one, which again, I bought, I think I bought a foot balm in this um, scent. And it is a nice, it's a nice strong minty kind of scent. So very clean, very fresh. Next we have door number 14, quite a nice big door, very exciting. What we got here then? Oh. Oh no, it's an exfoliating glove. Ah, okay, so that is not very exciting. You can buy these obviously in any supermarket, but I haven't got one at the moment. And these are really, really handy for obviously washing your body, but also prepping your skin before you shave, any body hair, and they obviously exfoliate, um, which is gonna give you a much smoother shave and you're less likely to like cut yourself or get a shaving rash from it. Pleased with that, handy, <laughs> handy to have, although I'm not sure that I would have bought one from Rituals if I was gonna, go and buy myself a new one, I would probably just head to the pound shop. I feel like for that size door, <laughs> that's quite a disappointing one. Oh, here it is. It's another camouflaged one. Oh, it's a long door. It's a, it's a nail file. Although actually, that is that is handy, um, especially right now, I've actually got, I'm actually in need of a nail file right now. I've got another mist of some kind. Oh, that's very exciting. This is the Ritual of Jing Pillow Mist Spray. So it has got sacred wood and lavender already. I feel snoozy. <laughs> so this is gonna be great. This is gonna give me a lovely night's sleep. So very, very excited for that. Oh, I've been wanting to try Pillow Mist for absolutely ages. So I'm really, really glad that one came in this calendar. That's very, very exciting. Shouldn't be this excited by Pillow Mist, but I am. That's how old I am now. Got the nice big door. I wonder what Christmas Eve will be. Oh, oh, what we got? What we got? That looks like karma again. Yes, it is. Ritual karma. This might actually be the foot balm that I got before. Oh no, it's a mild body scrub paste. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Yes, that's very, very exciting. So I don't, I don't have any body scrubs at the moment. I don't think. Um, so very exciting. Always a nice thing to do on a pamper night. So yeah, there's not really anything in this advent calendar so far that I'm like, no, I don't want that. The face cream springs to mind. But apart from that, there's nothing that I won't at least try, I don't think. Okay, door number 18. Oh, okay, this is a hair mask. This is a keratin recovery hair mask and it's from the Elixir collection. But it's the same nice, like cool gold as those candles. So yeah, very, very exciting. 
let's see if that wants to focus today I think it has um yeah so that is a fun little thing to try out I have a hair mask which is actually also from rituals I don't use it very often to be honest I'm very lazy when it comes to hair masks I don't like things that you have to like put on and then wash off um because I don't like having to like get back in the shower once I've already had a shower so <laughs> day number I think that was day number 18 so day number 19 oh my fourth candle so you do get four candles four Oh, funny. You do get four of these rituals candles ah! in this calendar, which I think is really good. I mean, the candles on their own, obviously, are a bit bigger than this. The candles on their own are nearly £20, I think. So the mini ones this size are probably probably about fibre on their own. So already that's 20 quid. Um, and the calendar is about 50 so and then obviously you've got all the other stuff as well so I do think it's worth it I think I've got smell overload they just all smell very clean very luxurious very much like I should go and have a bath right now and really enjoy them we are on day number 20 which is over here oh I think this is a full size one this is a full size product but I think you can get a bigger version but I think I don't think it's like a travel size this is a proper shower gel size um, this is ice shower gel, organic bamboo and Japanese mint and it says sport on it so whether that's meant to be really good at covering up body odour, I don't know. Quite a citrusy smell, quite a strong smell. I like that. Is that a men's one I wonder? He's not getting it. Always happy to have shower gels. I love Christmas for this kind of reason. I just end up with so many shower gels and bath creams and things like that. Things that you just don't really tend to buy for yourself. When I was a kid I'd get bath stuff and socks at Christmas and I'd be like thanks and now <laughs> now I'm like yay bath stuff socks I'm so happy just so happy to get practical things that I don't have to spend my own money on oh another ritual of mare I'm enjoying that word mare body mousse to roll oh <laughs> body mousse to oil sweet orange and cedar wood so it looks like it goes on like a mousse and then as you rub it becomes more of a body oil which is nice I prefer a body oil to like a cream um, I don't really know why, I think it just feels that little bit more pampery. Okay, so you could use this in your bath and then you could pop this on your skin afterwards and you would be smelling of the ritual of mare and that would make for a very lovely, luxurious, pampery evening. We are nearly there, we are nearly there guys. So moving on to day number 22, which looks to me like it's going to be another kind of mist, spray. Oh, Tulip and Japanese yuzu body mist, Amsterdam collection. Okay, so something that I had a problem with the Body Shop calendar was that they didn't have very many interesting scents. They kind of had all the same scents and none of them were seasonal. Whereas this, is, this isn't this is seasonal, uh, which yeah, again, actually, a lot of this is not seasonal. They do at least have some of their, they do at least have some of their more special collections in there. We're nearly there. Dog's obviously getting annoyed, so probably good timing. So day number 23, Christmas Eve Eve. Oh, this is the first thing I discovered from Rituals. Uh, was it there? Oh no, it was a hand cream. But it was the Ritual of Ayurveda, which is what this is. I got it in my glossy box when I used to get that and it was probably about that size. So a little bit bigger than this. And it's just a really, really lovely smell and it just made me completely fall in love with the brand. So this is Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. It's just a lovely, another, again, another clean, a lovely clean smell. So a lovely body cream that I know already I'm gonna love. Just in a minute as well, I'm really into body creams. I'm really enjoying getting out of the shower or the bath and lathering myself in a nice smelling body cream. We are on the last door, Christmas Eve, and it is the front door. I don't know if you, I didn't actually really make the connection, but this is obviously a house. These are all windows that we've been opening and now we are opening the front door of the house. Oh, it's so Christmassy, I love it. This would make such a good gift for someone. Ritual of Jing, oh, I love this green colour. So this is a full size hand lotion. So actually, I can tell it is a full size hand lotion because I've got the Ritual of Ayurveda one under my dressing table. But this is the Ritual of Jing, which is like the sleep one, I think. So it would be lovely to use that one in the morning and then this one, when you last wash your hands before you go to bed. Oh, it's a relaxed one. Look at that. I absolutely love that green color. And I know obviously the packaging is not important, 
but it is important it's important to me oh i'm really pleased i'm really pleased with everything that's in this box so i will pop everything in the description box obviously i'll pop the calendar in the description box but if there was any particular product that you just want to buy then i'll link all of those down there as well <sighs> very very exciting if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more advent calendar beauty advent calendar unboxings from me then please pop in the comments below specifically which one you would like me to get i do have to pay for these out of my own money i'm not making any money currently from youtube so advent calendars they are quite pricey so i'm not going to buy any more i do have the body shop one to show you but i'm not going to buy any more unless i have a few people say that there is a specific one that they'd like to see so yeah so let me know down below if you would like to see any more and have a lovely Christmas because I'm in a Christmassy mood now and a happy new year. <laughs> anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you join me for next week's video as well. It has been lovely hanging out with you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.